Okay, so this is the 2013 2.6 chemical reactivity paper, question 1. Hydrochloric acid was reacted with calcium carbonate in the form of marble chips, lumps, and powder, crushed marble chips, in an experiment to investigate factors affecting the rate of react a chemical reaction. Some pictures here, we don't need to see them. Lumps versus m crushed marble chips. Identify the factor being investigated. Lumps are going to be like that. Marble chips are going to have a lot more surface area. Explain why the hydrochloric acid... Oh dear, we've slipped a little bit. Explain why the hydrochloric acid would react faster with the powder. Okay, this question will be asking for something to do with um, particle theory, that idea of collision theory. Even though it doesn't ask it, it's still a good idea to state it. Okay, so... In the powder... There is more surface area. Than in, than in the lump. Of marble. Because there is more surface area. There are more particles exposed. This means there is more chance for an HCl particle to hit a calcium carbonate particle with enough force and with the correct orientation to allow a reaction to occur. Now here, saying two particles hitting each other with enough force and the correct orientation, that's collision theory, okay? So explain why hydrochloric acid would react faster with the powder. We've linked it to surface area, that particles, more particles are exposed in this form, and that, that means that the chances of an HCl particle to react or hit a calcium carbonate particle is higher. Yeah. Here is my assessment schedule. Now for this question, question 1i and i2, it says here to get achieved, I need surface area. I need a greater chance, uh, there is a greater surface area when powder is used, so I need to link those two. So here I've got in the powder there is more surface area than in the lump, so I've done that. Collisions occur more frequently when powder is used. There is more chance for HCl particle to hit a CaCO3 particle. So there is more chance for those to hit. I take that, that they will happen more frequently. Um, possibly that would be a way to improve my um, answer. For a chemical reaction to occur, particles must collide effectively. That's the idea of the force and the orientation. An increase of temperature, that's the next question. So that answer 
would hopefully, because of it got all these criteria, I reckon that will be linked surface area correctly to particle collision theory. And their answer here, uh, they've said just that more collisions occur because there's greater surface area, the reaction therefore happens faster.